let's get into this. Welcome back to the Costa Art Design, a creative guide to the galaxy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today we're looking at the Saturn 8K and the Saturn 3 bed leveling process. After following the instructions and getting a little bit confused, getting loads of failed prints, it was really frustrating. I had a discrepancy in the beginning, it kind of got me stuck. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this. It says, touch the up button on the touch screen and the build plate will go up about 100 millimeters. It says, touch the up button on the touch screen and it will go up 100 millimeters. So you're assuming by this that you touch it once and it will go up 100 millimeters. It doesn't. And that process of it going up by 100 millimeters is just for you to get your resin into the tank without the build plate getting in the way. That's all it's for. So right, when I go over to the leveling card, the instructions do say about the same thing, but kind of in a different way. So if, where are we? Okay. It says, press the arrow up button on the touch screen 10 times until the build plate rises to 100 millimeters now that makes sense so <laughs> i was a little frustrated at the beginning i was like oh, it's not working something's wrong so make sure you read your instructions properly or better yet just watch this video and you're good to go what we're going to do now is measure the the leveling card with my digital caliper and the reason why i'm doing this is Due to the amount of failed prints I was getting, I thought, let me measure the leveling card with my digital caliper and maybe use that as a gauge. Well, a comparison to my layer height. And I kind of figured, well, if the first layer is at 0.5, let me see if the leveling card is in fact 0.5 millimeters thick. So you kind of get the gist. If we move the digital cabler around the card we're, and apply different amounts of pressure, we'll get a different reading, no doubt. So if the card isn't giving me consistent readings when I'm applying pressure, then maybe I shouldn't be using it in the first place. So moving on. Let's get this vat secured make sure these are nice and tight and your FEP is super clean. Now initially, the way that I used to do it is loosen the two bolts and loosen the top screw and then tighten the lock once it was in the vat. And I just kept getting repeated fails. So what I now do is I make sure this top screw is in place secure before it reaches the vat and the two screws are loosened off so you want to get this bit right i made a mistake on my saturn 3 and didn't put it in place properly and it was just grinding up against the the, the side of the vat not a good look okay hit tool We want to hit manual and now we want to hit the home button and that's going to send your bill plate down onto the FEP so just one tap and away she goes now just keep an eye from the top to make sure that it lines up and it's nice and square you don't want to a wonky bill plate inside the vat. So just make sure it's lined up. Wait for the audible bill beeps, bobs. <laughs> yep. Okay, and just make sure all your four corners are nice and secure. You don't need to press down hard. You're not trying to crack your LCD screen. You just want it nice and snug. Okay. And this is a bit of a pain, trying to tighten the front bolt while your hands kind of doing some kind of gymnastics on the plate. It's a bit uncomfortable, awkward to do, but you 
kind of get used to it. Yeah. No, you don't. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah. So I tighten these up a little bit at a time. Okay. You don't have to go mad. Now, what you want to do is now raise this up 0.5 millimeters. Now you're probably thinking, why do you want to raise it up 0.5 millimeters? What's that about? We'll get there. So go ahead and tap that five times. Okay. So now we've done that, we're going to go back, hit the back button and set zero. A lot of people may say you don't need to do this. I've, I've read it on the forums, but it's in the manual, so I'm not going to risk not doing it. Okay, so the reason why I've raised my bill plate by 0.5 millimeters is because my light, my layer height, sorry, my layer, <laughs> my layer height is 0.5. So, and it's the same for the Saturn 3, but it's slightly, I, the leveling process is slightly different. Okay, but let's deal with the Saturn 8K for now. Let's close this out. So now we can go over, we've raised it 5.5 up. We can now raise up the bill plate, the 100 millimeters. So you tap that 10 times. You can tap it, you know, 15 times. If it's not enough room for you to get your, your resin in there, your bottles hitting the bill plate, then raise it up a little bit more. It's not a problem. That's the only reason why you do it is to create some clearance. You can get your resin in there. Okay. So after following these steps that I just shared with you, I was getting some amazing prints without cured resin stuck to my vat every five seconds. It was so irritating, time consuming and costly. That was the underlying issue for loads of my print flailers, but that's it in a nutshell, you're done. Next up is the satin free bed leavening process. Now, remember that 0.5 layer height, tap it, you know, five times to go up 0.5 millimeters. With the Saturn 3, I tried that and it failed. I had loads of failed prints and it was driving me nuts, scouring through, hoping that I'd find a solution. So in a nutshell, don't raise it up five times. It works for the Saturn 8K, but not for the Saturn 3. You simply level the bill plate on top of the FEP and you're done. Now, the reason why I had to keep re-leveling the bill plate after nearly every print was because I was holding the handle instead of the bill plate when I'm applying pressure to remove my prints. It's really frustrating. I was wondering why I'm hearing on forums, guys are just leveling the bill plate once and not having to return to it again. The problem that we have with these Elegoo machines or the ones that I'm using anyway, is the two bolt locking system isn't very robust compared to the, the four bolt locking system found on some of the other machines. So don't hold the handle if you've got to apply pressure and removing your prints and you should be good to go. Say goodbye to failed prints. Thanks for watching guys. There's so much to learn and so much I want to share. This galaxy is huge. <laughs>